What's your temperature of a commercial multifamily market in uh, California and LA County? You know, it's third quarter of 2024. Buying and selling or lending or all together? Yeah, it's like old joke. Uh, how much? It's like, are we buying or selling? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Between buyers, sellers, and lenders, I still think everybody's a little far apart right now from where. Well, that's I think there's some overbuying in this uh, Sun Belt area of like these like Alabama, Florida, Texas, Arizona. I think that there's going to be a correction in those markets more so than some of the coastal places. So for all you guys out there that, uh, you know, get to the market uh, recently, uh, there was an apartment book. It's still out there. We Everybody uses CoStar, but can you tell the guys what the apartment sure, book the is? Sure, the apartment directory is, it's like a, I'm gonna Yellow say pages. phone book, but no one knows what that is anymore <laughs> anyway. So it was like a, uh, a phone book, it was huge to sit at your desk and to work with. I mean, there's no books even here. That, I mean, it was like this big by this big, and it had one alphabetical by owner or also by street and address. And you just open it up and it would say, you know, uh, Boris Dorfman, uh, you know, 456 Main Street, 22 units in your phone number. How often they would update these books? Once a year, these nice people, I believe their name was the Kurtzes. That, that do it uh, and, and they would send you the book and you had to send them the book back, the actual physical book. It was a very big deal. How much uh, was it? I do not remember and I was not the one that... that, that but it wasn't in the hundreds. It Probably. was not cheap. It was a really big deal if you had one. Like you were really fancy if you had the apartment directory. It was, it was like, I mean, that's how you'd like arrived. So what's the year you close your first deal? First loan deal in Los Angeles would have had to been like 2010, 2011. And first real estate in Indiana? First real estate in Indiana would have had to been like 03. Oh, so you still had computers back then. It's not typed. Yeah, we did. There was the email and the internet and everything. Um, Transboxes? <laughs> Transbox? No, I'm no. Do you but, remember? Do you know what Transbox is? Uh, no, I don't think so. But we fa we did a lot of stuff was via fax. Um, uh, you, there was not a lot of attachments on the email. If, if it was uh, like anything that was an actual attachment was a fax. So for all you guys, pre-2008, uh, Nathan doesn't know because he started with real estate. So in lending, uh, you had to print out a color appraisal wow. and you had to send it by mail. <laughs> so most lenders, they use a uh, messaging service just like FedEx. Uh, but it, it was called, I forget the name of the company, but uh, these envelopes and a drop off, it would call, it was called Transboxes. Wow. So you go, like you go on FedEx, you enter your zip code and you have like, you can drop it off, drop off location, you can drop it off before five, before six. And some of them, they had late drop off because pre-2008, we didn't work nine to five. They had like late night drop off mm -hmm. before nine or 11 p.m. So yeah, you have to have a color printer. So all the documents now that are sent via email, I, listen, we had computers and emails, but we didn't have the data and the speed and the capability of lenders. So they would print everything out. So we had to print everything out. We'd have to have a cover sheet. We'd have to put a condition uh, of everything and appraisal had to be printed, color copied, sent in the trans box, dropped it off, and you wait for the underwriter. So, and then uh, I remember talking to uh, escrow officer that was working in 70s. I asked her, you know, like before computers, how these, like if you needed to change an offer or like how, on the typewriter, like what do you do? She's like, well, yeah, but like our offer was two pages. Our loan documents were few pages. So like, yeah, uh, I was at, like, you draw the loan documents, right? Like yeah. it's not by pages, it's by pound now. Well, uh, yeah, by uh, pound. Yeah. Uh, and back in the day, it's like, yeah, like, it was so short. So anyway, so yeah, Nathan is an old timer in the industry. Uh, so you moved to LA, you started working on loans. Mm -hmm. Cold calling out, so mostly all multifamily loans, and that got pretty competitive. Um, not easy to be doing uh, multifamily loans in Los Angeles, you know. So uh, 
I kind of branched out into some other things. A lot of uh, uh, loans through uh, CLOs, uh, debt funds, loans that had a, a very small initial advance relative to their overall uh, loan amount. Uh, for instance, uh, the the loan that you and I, how we met, that we the first loan that we did. I think there was a. Uh, $2 million initial advance and an $8 million construction holdback. So that's uh, that's hard when the beginning of the loan is really small and the holdback is very large. It's hard to find a, a lender to do that. So that was uh, um, a lot of those loans, a, a lot of uh, B and C retail loans and uh, a, a lot of retail and multifamily, I'd say is the bulk of my lending experience with, uh, with a fair amount of hospitality. And I'd like to do more industrial, but that's another another one that's when made. was the first hard money loan you did first hard money loan i did was a construction completion loan um on a uh, on a multi-family project in angelino heights um and that had to have been also probably i don't know 12 years ago 14 13 12 13 14 years ago yeah, tip of the day. If you have construction completion, call Nathan. If you have mid construction, don't call <laughs> me or Nathan. Uh, yeah, lots of bad projects out there. L a lot right. of upside down projects out there right now. At, at, uh, even at uh, institutional and, and on even from institutional and, and traditional loans, a lot of upside down. So since we're in a topic, let's uh, talk about uh, the market. What's your take? Uh, what's your temperature of a uh, commercial multifamily market in uh, California, in LA uh, County? You know, it's third quarter of 2024. Buying and selling or lending or all together? Yeah, it's like old joke. Uh, how much? Like, are we buying or selling? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Uh, just uh, uh, is the trend uh, uh, up, uh, amount of transactions? Like, wh wh what do you see? I, I see a lot of uh, inquiries, um, both buying or selling. And but lending. no transactions. Yes, because uh, but no transactions. And I think between buyers, sellers, and lenders... I still think everybody's a little far apart right now from where. So the money is there, right? The, the money is there. The willingness to transact is there, but. But nobody's under the gun to sell. Correct. I guess borrowers are more capitalized. Yeah. And also there's a lot of people took advantage of low rates. You know, there was a lot of these for multifamily loans, especially. Lots of people did long-term, you know, 10-year 10 10 year loans, even 30-year bank loans that don't mature, you know, and as, as those roll off, some of them will go to uh, floating rates. So a lot of people may go from a 3 or 4% uh, up to a much higher rate. Some of these loans, bank loans, they were capped at, I think, 2% per, per year. Escalations. On the escalation. So... They're, they're going to start to creep up and, and you're going to start to see some people get some heartburn and want to refinance. The problem is it doesn't really create a lot of urgency because those reset to the market rates. So when someone says, oh, my gosh, my rate went up to six and a half percent, I need to get it lowered. And I tell you, well, now I can get you seven and a half percent. There's not a lot of. And the banks typically, they I mean, if you're good, they will work with you. They will. Yeah. And people, I, you know, my experience. Banks say, hey, you know, you bring a couple of hundred thousand to the table, we'll rewrite it. We'll rewrite a, a, it. a lot more of the banks that used to just be what's called relationship lending, meaning we don't require a depository relationship, now require a depository relationship. My take on it, it's a temporary thing because there's liquidity in the system. Uh, the Fed, uh, uh, they stop buying, uh, uh, how you, the te uh, tapering? What's the... T -t 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 Anyways, uh, balance sheet reduction, right? When Fed stops uh, reducing balance sheet and becomes a buyer, uh, banks will be more liquid. And uh, yeah, we had some issues with the banks this year, last year. You know, RIP First Republic. Mm -hmm. So, so what does the future hold? Twenty five, twenty six. Uh, yeah, I I think the deals are out there. People are going to need to refinance. People are going to not need for to us. Just overall real estate market, like real estate market. I think uh, 
Well, there's a big thing that people talk about that I'm very interested in this like transference of wealth, like that the, these older generations are going are gonna to pass away and their uh, children are going to start to inherit these buildings like the baby boomers and the Generation X. So it'll be interesting to see like how do these people that have stayed out of the business, like what do they decide that they want to do? Do they sell and make a bad decision? Do they, do they keep it and make good or bad decisions? Like, are they having the right advisors? So there, there could be a lot of transactions, both good and bad, coming up in the next. So if you're buying today or 25, if you're looking for long term, 20, 30 years out, are you buying California or Indiana? Either or. Uh, both great places to buy. Uh, but uh, I, I'm saying, where do you see the appreciation? Uh, I see the 20, 30 years. I see the appreciation here. I see the more safe and stability in a market like Indianapolis. Uh, uh, political stability? No, or? no. Uh, fi financial rent, uh, rent oh, and cash flow. stability. Cash you know, flow. Like Indiana is like a very safe real estate market. It doesn't have big ups and downs. It just kind of has a slow and steady upward trajectory. You know, like Los, Los Angeles, this is where you're going to – win big or, or lose big. No, but long term, 30 years. 30 years, you can't go wrong with uh, with with sun sunshine and 70 degrees, Boris. You or know, so. anything coastal for that matter. I, I, that's my opinion. Yeah, so. I think San Francisco will be back. I 100% agree. Uh, New York, uh, you know, they had a hiccup in Manhattan. New York will always be New York. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I hope so. Unless politicians kill, kill, I, kill that state. I think there's some overbuying in this uh, Sun Belt area of like these like Alabama, Florida, Texas, Arizona. I, I think that there's going to be a correction in those markets more so than some of the coastal places. Yeah, that's why, you know, um, sometimes when we talk real estate investments, uh, I want to talk long term. And like you said, 30 years. Uh, you can't go wrong. What else do I ask you? What's what's your hobbies? What's your personal? You know, I you know I work hard. I like to rest. I, I uh, have gotten really into the uh, going to the gym a lot. Um, I uh, really enjoy. Uh, as funny as it sounds, I enjoy walking. I've developed a uh, a, a pretty sick uh, step count like problem. Uh, <laughs> you know, in like, your mind or on the, on the on the app on the on count the, on the oh, daily okay. steps like i mean i'll look if it says i'm behind i'll have to get up and go for a walk you know you go for a walk or like some people go around the couch or... I, you know, it's, <laughs> so it's funny you say that so if it's the end of the day and it's like 11 30 at night and i'm at like nineteen thousand five hundred steps i will walk around the dining room table until i get to which software do you use what's that what's which software just the iPhone app. Just okay, just add Nathan if you want to. We used to have a competition in the office. Uh, First who does the mo most steps? And I think, were you there? I think it lasted for like a week or two. Nobody signed up. So yeah, like people would encourage each other. They would post photos in our Telegram app and then kind of died. I, I proudly averaged 15,000, over 15,000 steps a day for the last 365 days. Uh, nice. So that's uh, that uh, going to the gym, weightlifting has been big and then just kind of relaxing and, and watching some sports when I get a chance. And spending. So time. I guess uh, if anybody wants to get into this industry, the lesson is outside of the gym, people in real estate industry have no hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> we don't collect things. Our hobbies are work. And if we get, if we can squeeze the gym in, uh, that's it. But uh, yeah, most people they develop a hobby after they retire in this industry. So when do people call you? Uh, when so, people call LBC Capital, when do they ask for Nathan? If you're looking at uh, buying or refinancing a apartment building that's five units or more, uh, a retail center, an industrial building, a, a, a hotel, uh, um, something like that. And really who I'd like to help with is anyone out there that owns a lot of rental houses that has tried in the past to buy an apartment building and a bank has told you um, you don't have any experience with an apartment building, um, I, I would like to help you show a, a traditional lender how you do have that experience and, and get you into uh, owning some apartment buildings. I, I think there's a need for someone to help 
with that because they're two very different types of loans. I could never help somebody to get a investment property home loan. I'd be the worst person to ever talk to um, as far as that goes. You know, it's just it's like going to the eye doctor to get your teeth cleaned. It's, it's two totally different things. So awesome. So anything commercial advice, loan, uh, this guy, um, a lot of industry people are watching us. And let's conclude with a couple of blitz questions uh, to Nathan. Soccer or football? Football, American. Football or basketball? Football. Raiders, Rams, or Colts? Colts. So you're an Indiana guy? Yes, I am. Trying to buy into the Lakers and the Rams um, the best I can. Got it. Uh, blondes or brunettes? Brunettes. Vodka or scotch? Neither. Wow. Jim. Jim, the gym, yeah. Got it. I so like, book or, book or uh, TV? I would love to say book in honesty, TV, so. Yeah, I love to read. I don't read enough. And uh, yeah, uh, again, uh, the profession we chose and the time we're in. Well, uh, thank you, Nathan. Thank you, Boris. Welcome Thanks so to the much. family. So thank and, you so much. Uh, I'll see you guys next week.